In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a time-lapse video from still images. Here is a time-lapse I created from photos I took while sitting on a beach. This is how I created it. What you need is a series of photographs taken in sequence. I started by setting up my camera on a tripod so that all the photos would be taken from the exact same position. Then I snapped a series of shots at about five minute intervals. You can choose any interval depending on the action occurring in the scene you are recording. Next all you need to do is import those images into a movie editing program. I'm going to use iMovie for this tutorial. To create a new project just click the plus sign. Add a title and then click OK. Now you have a new project. Then just select the photo browser and find the appropriate event in iPhoto containing your images. So here they are. I'm going to select all of them and drag them into the project window. The more images, the longer it will take to load them into your project. I have only a few images, so it takes only a moment. Next, we have to make some adjustments. iMovie automatically gives each image a duration of 4 seconds, which is too long. Also, it automatically adds a Ken Burns effect to each one, which we do not want. So first, select all images using Command-A. Next, open the Clip Inspector and change the duration of the clips. In this case, I'm going to use 0.2 seconds. Make sure to check the box which ensures the change is applied to all clips. Now you see that we are closer to what we want, but not quite. We've got to turn off the Ken Burns effect. To do this, select all images using Command A again. Now click the cropping icon which opens up the inspector. Now just select fit which removes any motion and fits the image to the screen. Then when we play the video now it looks pretty good. We have a short time lapse showing changes in the sky and people moving around the beach. And here it is in full screen. All you need to do now is export the video by selecting Share.